Verzi's got me addicted to Florentine's podcast, and now Verzi does like he does a pretty good Florentine. <laughs> the Florentine is the funniest motherfucker ever. Listen to, to just Florentine complain about, about anything. Oh my god, that yeah, robot! That's care that about, robot! Right? You fucking kidding me? Fucking it's garbage. garbage! Fucking joke! Like <laughs> 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 a Fox News robot! Fucking. Did you he, got that right, robot? The way he goes like up, <laughs> or he like drags the word out. It's fucking fucking halftime. It's fucking. That's really good, man. <laughs> uh, dude, um, he's fucking funny, man. Listen to that guy complain. Really, really, like we've never seen a beautiful woman before. Fucking guy, Bud Light commercial. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, all right, uh, what do we got here? This is uh, okay. Sunglasses. There's some really uh, some weird ones this week. People like. This guy says, uh, hey, Bill, I need, I need to, uh, my, my listeners send in like, questions and shit, and I read it just to let you know. Billiam, I need to ask you a very important question. My wife makes fun of my choice of sunglasses. She thinks they're not hip enough. Um, I told her I was wearing brown-tinted sunburst aviators since college before the whole aviator hype. Is there aviator hype? <laughs> I don't even I remember. Mean, Top Gun like, came like, out. Yeah, I was going to say, back then, those people who... <laughs> yeah, 1980s. Yeah, who wanted to be like Tom Cruise. You know my neighbor when I was growing up? Any movie that Tom Cruise was in, he got into that. Like, whatever it was. Like, uh, Top Gun, he joined, like, the fucking... Uh, <laughs> No, he, no, he joined like the the, the the Air Force Reserves. No, he alligator armed it. He joined that, and then um, Days of Thunder. He started racing cars. No cocktail. He became like a bartender. His rich dad <laughs> got him out of the fucking the uh, fuck reserves. Out of you. Are you serious? Yeah, he started getting into that. And what else did he do? There was like three things. So it kind of became this running joke, like whatever fucking Tom Cruise movie was coming out. And then eventually he moved out to L.A. Finally, just, just well, why don't I just be a fucking actor? You know, so I don't have to actually join the fucking Air Force. Uh, don't know whatever happened to him. So anyway, aviator glasses, which were, yeah, the Tom Cruise fan slash date rapist. Remember that fucking kid I was talking about him? Do you remember that kid who he had the rough sex with the girl in, the, in Central Park and she died? No. You're too young for that. Yeah, this guy. What? He, yeah, this fucking psycho. No, he killed her. He tried to. He tried to. He tried to say that they that she wanted rough sex. It was consensual, and it, it, I don't know what it, it. It. He accidentally killed her or whatever. That puts I mean, a whole other meaning to the word killing it. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ, Paul. <laughs> How you Jesus. doing with the ladies? Oh, uh, yeah. Killing it. <laughs> crushed it. <laughs> fucking crushed it. Um. So. <laughs> Anyways, dude, that's fucking brutal. So anyway, but this guy, you know what? It actually made me mad when he got out of prison. Not only that, that, that he got out of – on two levels it made me mad. First of all, the guy got out of prison. But uh, the idiots on the news going off on the guy were saying – because when he got out, he wasn't on parole because he did all his time because he didn't get time off for good behavior because they were just like – you know, he had fights in prison. He was selling drugs and blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah. All, the, all that that says in there is he didn't get raped. He did what he had to do in there to survive. So on some level, you, ha you have to respect that because that's, that's the big fear as a guy. Wait, did he rape the girl or it was just rough sex? I don't know what he did. I don't know what that's happened. That's such a big difference, though. Well, I don't know if he went like Ron Artest, like it was going good and he was excited and then he fucking elbowed her. <laughs> Why are we joking about this? He just this? dunked and then he <laughs> fucking started pounding his chest. Yeah, and then they didn't show the replay because it was a home game. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, he he fucking uh, so, I don't know. Okay, so how long did he do? They let him out of jail. Yeah, he did like all fifteen or sixteen years because they couldn't get him on murder because he said it was like I, I know like on on rape trials like they what they always do like the the hardest thing to get him on is when they say it was consensual. So then all DNA is out the fucking window. Then you have to like. It's 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 the worst fucking thing. If if somebody does that to a woman, they they should be honestly. They should they should just they should have like a flamethrower, and they should just have it pointed at the defendant. And Jerry, would you like to read the verdict? <laughs> On the count of uh, rape, we find him guilty in the first degree. And just <laughs> you just light him on fire right in front of the family. Yeah, yeah. Right in front, of, right in front of the family. That that's how I would run it. The same same thing with uh, child molesters. Oh, that's the worst. Child molesters. That's it. Child molesters. I would actually have them get chased by rabid dogs first, and then <laughs> dude, this Sandusky yeah. guy and, 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 get fucking. This Sandusky guy should get fucking drawn and quartered in the courtroom. Oh, Just yeah. put his fucking body parts in a uh, bag. He should be it. underneath an oil tanker, and then they should drive it to fucking. Uh, is that how you, do you that's drive the, a boat? That's drive the it to like fucking uh, man that's walking this earth. He's a that's what I would do with that guy. Dude. What I would do with that guy, well, I would go into shark infested waters 
and I would give him a bunch of paper cuts, and I'd tie him to the front of a boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I never heard of like that. That's that's a good one, man. Well, just Paul, you bait. gotta understand when when you do something like that to somebody, you didn't just you you ended that kid's life. And then you affected generations of people because who they're going to marry, how they're going to treat the person they marry, how they're going to treat their kids, and then the, the treatment of the kids, how they're going to act in society, society it just it, it creates – it's like that, that little Confucius thing when you drop the pebble – in the still pond, and the ripples just go like that. See, you got a little poetic on you. It was, it's like that. No, see, that's what I say. Time to the front of a boat, paper cuts, shark infested waters, and that's it. And you know what's awesome. funny? And this is the thing about it. You, that's funny. That'd be awesome. Um, and it, it still won't stop them. It still won't stop it from happening. But you should just you should start weeding them out. That's a sick, like that's a sickness, man. From young, that's fucking crazy, man. Yeah. Like, to, to to that's just a. Uh. And it ruins the lives of, of everybody, for, but but the kid forever. Yeah, it's over. Why are you forever. saying what I just said, Paul? What? Oh, did you say it? I'm sorry. Yeah, you won't even listen. A typical no, comedian. Just, no, you were no, thinking no. about what you were no, going to say. That's about, literally no. exactly what I just said. No, I was thinking about the. Um, you the what? I was thinking about him actually like hitting the thing like a buoy. Oh, that's right. You you got you got that you got that weird fucking shit where you you every once in a while you you think about doing crazy Horrible stuff, right? Sometimes, yeah. I always get nervous about admitting this type of stuff. Like someday. If you're like on trial, like, you know, I'm going to get put in contempt of court because I'd still never rat you out. But it'd be like, what are you talking about? You guys talked about this on the podcast. What are you kidding me? It was a joke. <laughs> like <a> garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't ask the fucking guy's question here. We were talking about aviators. He said, what's the breakdown of douchey sunglasses versus acceptable versus acceptable ones? What kind of sunglasses do you wear? And does Nia have any say in the matter? I imagine you wear very non-threatening, low-profile <laughs> shades. I can't tell if that's an insult or if he's con- – sounds like an insult, right? Um, no, I don't think it's an insult. I think this guy genuinely wants to know uh, what he could wear to make his girl stop trashing him. Well, this is what you have to do. First of all, depending on where you are in your relationship, is, is if you feel secure in your relationship, maybe she's just doing you a solid and telling you that you look like a douche. But if she's always telling you everything – what to do, then you have to continue wearing those glasses and you have to wear them over to her mother's house. Defiance. Yes, and, and wear them into the house and don't take them off when her mom's talking to you. <laughs> That's like a buddy, a buddy of mine, right? Dude, women though, women just, I just want me to say something real quick. Oh God, more women trashing? I was no, hoping no, you were going to be no, nice to them. Like, it's just like, could you, like a guy's really thinking about it and this happens all the time. This guy's got a genuine concern here. But like, for, like I've heard of guys going, yeah, my girl just looked over at me and looked at that shirt and goes, ugh, it's such a turn off, take it off. And I want to be, it, it's in my mind, I'm just like, I want to be like, dude, shut the, f- are you out of yeah, your mind? Yeah, but those guys, those guys deserve it. They fucking deserve it, Paul. If you if you let the woman in your life talk to you like that, well, that's they, what I'm they, they fucking deserve it. The same way a woman deserves no, it. If, if, if their guy is a fucking asshole, minus them beating the shit out of you. But I got to – yeah, minus them beating the shit out of you. But like, if, the if, they, if they beat you up, then that's just complete bullshit. No, but if they're walking around being a fucking asshole, disrespecting you, that, that's on you. Okay? But if the guy says Break to, up with them. But what if the guy says to her, shut, you, shut up. You know, I'm wearing the shirt. Shut up. Yeah. You see a dick? No. Right. But then it's like, oh my god, don't That's talk. That's a total turn up to disgust me. Take that off. Just flip it around. What if you ever said that to your girl? Yeah, exactly. Ah, it's disgusting. It makes you look fat. Come on. You'd never do that. <laughs> no. Even if you said that disgust me, that would be it. Listen, here's my answer. They would to pout your... through the fucking dessert that night at the meal. Well, here's my answer to your to your uh, your listener's question here. If you like them, dude, and you look in the mirror and you go, you know something, I like the I like the glare. I like if it's orange tint or whatever. You like it, fucking wear it. Paul, you know something? That's why you and your wife are so comfortable to hang around. Because how many times you guys tell each other go fuck yourself? You say go fuck yourself, right? You do that, right? Like no, we'll just be like, ah, hey, you know something, shut, like yeah, yeah, like, shut not, up. Not in a, but like in a loving way, like a. Yeah, but you have to, you have to keep, you got to keep them off you. The same way she has to keep you off, or you know, if she didn't keep you in check. You'd golf fucking t- <laughs> nine times a week, right? right. Yeah, no, 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 absolutely. There's a fine line in what's like, you know, yes, exactly. Dude, I had a buddy of mine, right? He fucking, we went fishing, right? We were done fishing. Uh, you know, we drank a bunch of booze or whatever we were smoking cigars and his wife pulls up and you know they told their kid about the dangers of smoking right so the kid starts fucking crying and blah and there's all this big fucking thing and the kid the guy was literally in the doghouse and i guess maybe because the kid was crying i kind of saw her point but he's one of those fucking guys i i I wanted to say to him like dude you know what really help your relationship next time you drop your kid off in the car take out a big fat fucking cuban and just light it up yeah. And I got, what are you doing? I'm smoking a cigar because I enjoy it. When I come home, I'm going to watch a game. 
and I'm smoking this fucking cigar. And when she says why, you say because you can go fuck yourself. And that, and I'm telling you, <laughs> it's a little blunt. You can you can round off yeah, the you edges. Might not wanna, yeah, you yeah. might not want to say you could go fuck yourself. But I'm just but saying this is what that would help your relationship. Happy. It's like that movie. Remember the movie there with uh, Kevin Spacey when she comes home. What is that in the driveway? He's like that is a 1969 Firebird, and he just. I went out and bought it because I wanted it. Go fuck you. And, like, and you saw the look on her face. There was a shift for the better in that relationship. But doesn't he die in the end? Doesn't he get killed? Oh, I don't know. Was that? Was that, uh... that was a weird one. He wanted to fuck that 12-year-old. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Fuck that movie. Sitting there with rose petals falling all over him. Um, so we're saying, you know what? You wear, the, you wear the goddamn sunglasses you want to, sir. That's right.